Hey guys, Mars Lincoln here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so next up, we are going to do the showcase for the AGL Trenchcoat 17 uh, full level 10 links. Uh, he's obviously very similar to the in Hellfire 17. Uh, his super attack raises super attack and defense for one turn, supreme damage, and greatly lowers defense. So he doesn't have a stun chance like Hellfire 17. Greatly lowers defense is not exactly the best uh, super attack effect. And then his passive attack and defense 120, additional attack 120 when performing a super. All allies key plus two attack and defense 25%, plus an additional defense 170 when there is an ally whose name includes number 17 attacking in the same turn. So we are running him on the Androids team. Uh, we haven't brought the Hellfire 17. I said in the Hellfire one, I wanted to show them both separately. Um, but we have done the showcase for the uh, EZA LR androids, who are basically one of his best link partners. So we didn't have them on the same rotation. But on this rotation, between the STR 18 and the AGL Android 13, we actually get all of his links active. And of course, this is him on rotation with two support units as well. So... He's starting off at 200k defense, which is uh, pretty crazy. Uh, obviously, he doesn't need the... Um, he gets an additional 170% defense when there is the 17 on rotation, which we don't have. So, his defense would be 170% higher <laughs> if we had an Android 17 on rotation. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty good, right? <laughs> Plus, not to mention the fact that he raises attack and defense on super attack as well anyway. Um, so, yeah, I could see this guy getting up to an actually ridiculous level of defense. And 6.35 on his attack style on this first turn with all of his links active. That is actually crazy. 6.35 for one of these uh, sub-easy A's. Of course, we're uh, firing off a bunch of additional super attacks that can't actually do any damage. But it is what it is. Um, let's get the, uh, let's get the Jero and 19 floated off first, just because they, uh, are a better support unit than the Cell. Um, basically, once we get the, uh, the defense of this AGL-17 is actually going to be ridiculous, because we're going to be running him with the, uh, LREZA androids, and of course their name includes number 17, with 17 and 18, and they're providing a 50% defense buff to their allies so uh his defense is actually going to be insane i jumped into the shadow dragons one because the uh for the uh, for the hellfire 17 we did the other gt uh, stage so i thought it'd be just good to do the other gt stage for these guys as well not realizing that almost all of these guys just do key blade key based super attacks so <laughs> but yeah so with this uh with the lr they have five links together which is pretty good uh, if we put you in the middle, you do get one more. Um, let's see. Will the LR androids finish them off? We're against an extreme enemy, so they're not getting all their buffs. So I'm assuming that they won't. But So start of turn, his defense is 325k. And he's going to raise defense on his super attack. Obviously, he gets his attack buff when attacking. But he still raises it ever so slightly on his super attack effect. So he's at like 350k defense. <laughs> And what attack stat are we going to put out here with uh, six out of the seven links active? That is a uh, a very good setup for our boy here. The LR Android's at 4.89, which is uh, not bad at all for uh, a support unit, quote-unquote. Uh, okay, no crit is good. And what attack stat are we going to get from 17? 5 million. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty good. Obviously, on this turn, we only have one uh, support unit providing 30% attack. Uh, on the previous turn, we had, like, double support units and every single link active. So, not really surprised that he hits a uh, slightly higher number. Because, remember, the LR androids are only providing defensive support. Man, imagine how insanely broken they would be if they gave 50% attack and defense. Because not just that, the fact that they would get it as well. And uh, in the solo showcase video we did for them, they got up to, like, 7 million attacks now or something. If they supported attack as well, that would probably be closer to 8 or even 9 million, which is uh, a little bit on the crazy side. So, we've got 13 transformed here, so we'll just go ahead and fire off these attacks. We got past the uh, <laughs> Absorbs key-based supers stage, so we should be in a little bit of a better spot now here. Uh, we want to get the... Uh, I want to see the turn where we have Jero at 19 in slot 3 for that 40% 
buff. Because obviously this guy, because he has all of his defense at the start of the turn, unlike the Hellfire 17, this is the one that you put in slot 1, right? You have AGL, if you want to run them together, you have AGL 17 in slot 1, Hellfire 17 in slot 2, because he just gets his attack on Super. He has his defense at the start of the turn, whereas obviously Hellfire 17 gets his defense on Super, so he's not ideal as a slot 1 unit. Uh, whereas this guy, I mean, previous turn, sat at 320k defense at the start of the turn. That is, uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> so let us uh, get on to this next turn here. Right, so we've got the LR Androids and we've got Jero and 19. Oh, this rotation gives us all of our links active as well. So we are starting the turn at, yeah, 325k defense. Very, very good. So we'll go ahead and grab these. And these and then this for you so this should be very good obviously the very first turn we got the highest attack stat because we had the double attack supports but we're getting the 40 percent buff from jero and 19 here crit from them oh they're gonna kill her aren't they of course they are <laughs> i put them in slot one because i really didn't think they would kill and then they crit an additional because obviously when we're fighting against an extreme type um ally as uh, extreme type enemy we don't get the extra attack buff for the androids as well as the built-in chance to additional but obviously mine have a decent amount of additional in the hidden potential system so yeah unfortunately that's uh they're too good suffering from success with the <laughs> easy alr androids just being too good even against an extreme class enemy because remember their attack stat being what it is they would be getting a massive attack buff on top of that if we were fighting against a super type enemy so even against an extreme enemy where we're not getting a lot of their buffs they're still putting out a really really good attack stat as well as obviously providing that key and 50 percent support to uh, everybody else on the team which is pretty crazy so let's see if we can actually uh Actually let, you know, AGL-17 attack this time. Maybe we will go ahead and put him in slot 1. STR-18 going off here with all of her additionals. Oh yeah, so I think we will put him in slot 1 because we have the type advantage here. Unfortunately, we would pick up all of our links if we put him in the middle. But that's the, <laughs> that's the problem. Like I said, this team's too good. The team's too, uh, too powerful now. So... With only these links active, and obviously the fact that 13 doesn't support anymore, we still have 250k defense at the start of the turn. And then he obviously gets the effect from his super attack as well. So he's still going to be close to 300%, uh, 300,000 defense, even without the extra support from Android 13. Just take double digit damage from the super, 4.38. So yeah, basically the... AGL-17 is the more defensive-based unit. Hellfire-17, slightly higher attack. Obviously, gets his attack on Super, so needs to be in slot 2. But the rotation of those two together is going to be crazy. Because, obviously, they both fulfill each other's passive of having a 17 on the rotation. So, that, um, that rotation is just very, very strong. And I am very much looking forward to trying them out. I wanted to show them off separately, just to show how good they can be. Uh, just by having any other 17 to activate their passive. But I'm very much looking forward to going into an event and actually using them together. I think Android's Extreme Super Battle Road is probably going to be the big one. Because it is a stage that people had trouble with when it came out. Doing the no items run on it was an absolute nightmare. I mean, that's the thing. I knew in my head that doing it would be so much easier if I just waited for all this new stuff to come out. But I kind of wanted, I wanted the challenge of doing it before all this new stuff came out. Because... You know, it's kind of been a running meme. That's why we started the whole Super Battle Road King rivalry in the first place, right? Like, it's uh, always been a meme to try and one-up whatever Truth does. And Truth didn't do the Androids run until all the new Androids came out. So I was kind of uh, dedicated to proving that it could be done before that. So, all right. So now we have a good rotation here with most of our links active. Uh, we've got the support from Android 18 in slot 3. So let's see what we're at here. Yeah, 300, basically 325k defense. I mean, I think it's pretty clear to see like how good this guy is, right? Because you don't need to run them both together. And the fact that the LR androids are free to play, um, I put out the video showing them off earlier. Their medals can be a little bit annoying to get, but at the start of that video, I did show what I think is probably the easiest way to get them all. Um, so it's not like you have to have 
both of them to work together to be really good, this guy and the Hellfighter 17, because this guy just works super, super well. I mean, this rotation, the other two units are free-to-play units, because this 18 is from the barbershop. So, very, very strong, Easy A. You know, 350k defense, 5 million attack stat. He's also a support unit as well, remember. He is providing extra attack and defense to everybody else on the rotation. So, yeah, all in all, I'm very, very impressed with the uh, Easy A's for these two 17s. So, yeah, you'll have to let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. Um, definitely going to try the Androids team out in a bunch of different events. I wanted all the solo showcases first because now I want to take on things like the Legendary Vegeta event, Super Battle Road and stuff like that. And I wanted to use a bunch of these different units in that run. So I wanted to just take a look at them individually to show off how good they are. And then we'll get on to doing some other stuff with them. So let me know what you guys think down below. Who is your favorite out of the AGL Trench Coat 17 or the Hellfire 17? Um, have you got all three of these Android EZAs done, including the LR? Let me know all of those details down below in the comment section. And now we can end the video off here, actually. We have this turn back again where we're going to have the 40% support and all of his links active, except this time the enemy's not on low enough health for the LR androids to be able to uh, ruin it for us. So let's go ahead and see what we are going to get here. So 5 million from them. Bearing in mind, again, they're not getting that extra big buff from fighting a superclass enemy. So <laughs> that is still very, very good. And then AGL-17. All right, we're going to take a super for the... LR androids. Or oh, we're just going to dodge. Nice, nice. Level 4 dodge they have. 5.82. So 5.82 million attack. Over 350k defense. I would say that he's pretty good, wouldn't you? So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.